And Trump's indictment in Georgia might be based in the state's Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, a.k.a. RICO. Scripps News congressional correspondent Stephanie Liebergen explains. Attention is on the Fulton County Courthouse again this week as we await a possible fourth indictment for former President Trump. But the potential charge in this case could be different than the other three in more ways than one. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis has been investigating efforts to overturn Georgia's 2020 election results for more than two years. And some legal experts expect she'll bring the case under a law initially written to target the mob, racketeer influenced and corrupt organizations, or RICO. A racketeer is somebody who commits at least two different crimes that are related in trying, trying to achieve the same goal. Georgia's RICO law is written more broadly than the federal version, meaning there's a large number of crimes that can qualify for a racketeering charge. The ones that we think uh, will appear in the indictment, it's a crime to make a false statement to a state official. Um, it's a crime to create false documents and submit them uh, to various state agencies. Perjury uh, can be a crime, terroristic threats. And we know that the uh, district attorney is looking at threats against election workers. The former president is already facing two federal indictments and a case in New York. But if he's indicted in Fulton County, it could be the most problematic one he faces. If he's reelected, he has no power over what's going on in Georgia. Uh, he can't tell the district attorney what to do. She is an elected official. She's not answerable to anybody in state government. The possibility of him being convicted and going to jail is far greater, I would say. If the former president is indicted in Fulton County, we can expect to see an arraignment happen in the following day or two. Stephanie Liebergen, Scripps News, Washington.